his blog on the treasures of darkness. We did 10 of those, and now we're doing the, what the Bible says there in Isaiah, the hidden riches and secret places. I just love the, um, I, I love the mystical side of God. That side of God that motivates you to seek him, motivates you to pursue and find a part of God that you never knew before. And there are, there's that part of God that he invites you to come into. And, and we call those the hidden riches in secret places. And one of the hidden riches, our fourth one, the hidden riches in secret places is the power of God. Now, listen to me. Not everybody has the power of God in their life. Even though they're saved, they may not have the power of God in their life. I point your attention here to Galatians chapter 1, verse 15 through 18. It says, But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb, he says, and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me, that I might preach him among the heathen, immediately, he says, I conferred not with flesh and blood. But neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me, but I went into Arabia and returned again into Damascus, then after uh, three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode there with him for 15 days. So what, what's the point here? Okay, The point is this, is when, when Paul got saved, he went and hid himself in the secret place, in the secret place for three years. I mean, how in the world did this believer who was a, a man who persecuted the church, how did he go about doing that and have such a conversion and such a dedication to pursue God like he did, except the fact that he got himself in that hidden place and found the secret things, the secret riches that he had to have to do it. You know, in Acts chapter 1, verse 13 and 14, and then Acts chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, it says that when they were come up in, they went into an upper room where abode with both Peter and James, John, Andrew, and list all the, these disciples right there. And verse 14 says, they all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women, Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. And then it says, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a, a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind. It filled the house where they were sitting. You, you know what's happened here? Is they hid, the, Paul went and hid himself for three years and got a hold of some of the riches, the hidden riches. And these people of God in the book of Acts, they went and hid themselves in the upper room and God poured out the power of God on them. And then we see in 1 Kings chapter 17 and verse 2 and 3, it says, Then the Lord, uh, the word of the Lord came unto, this would be unto Elijah, saying, Get thee hence and turn thee eastward and hide thyself by the brook Cherith that is before Jordan. And so Elijah goes and hides himself and uh, away from everybody. And uh, here's one of the problems that we have. We don't spend time hiding ourselves. And... Um, then the Bible says after 1 Kings 17, he went and hid himself. Then we look in chapter 18 and verse 1. It says it came to pass that after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year. So think about this. Remember this. Paul went and hid himself for three years. Now Elijah has hid himself for three years. And the Bible says that, that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year saying, Now go show thyself unto Ahab. I will send rain upon the earth. So get this is we got to learn how to hide ourselves before we show ourselves. We got a lot of showing, but not enough hiding. And here's what I'm going to tell you today, is there are hidden riches in secret places for those who are willing to go hide themselves with the Lord and be with him and allow him to come to, into their life in power so God could use them. So let's, let's take, them, take this great challenge. And let's go hide ourselves every day. Spend some time hiding yourself so that you can show yourself. You'll be a better husband, a better wife, a better teenager if you'll learn to go hide yourself before you go show yourself every day, okay? So we'll do another one next week.